A package has just arrived in the mail. I am so excited. This is some. This is some. This product that I just got in the mail is something that I've been waiting a year for. It was announced a year ago. It came out in Japan in March, but didn't come out in the U.S. until May. But I finally have one, and we're gonna open it today. So I got my knife. This is a mini Swiss Army knife. And we're, gonna, we're just going to open up this box. So you just got to cut the tape. And then you, uh, like that. And then you cut away so that you don't injure yourself. And we're going to open it up. <laughs> and then I'm gonna open up the top. Remove all these bubbles. <laughs> yes! Yes! It's finally mine! The TurboGrafx 16 Mini! Oh my god! This thing is beautiful! Oh man! Oh my god, this thing is. Oh my. Oh, look at this! See, look! Look at all these games! Look! We got. This we got. You got Alien Crush, Blazing Lasers, Dungeon Explorer, Moto Rotor, Power Golf, R Type. Victory Run, Chu Man Fu, JJ and Jeff, Military Madness, Newtopia, Ninja Spirit, Psychosis, Space Harrier, Splatterhouse, East Book 1 and 2, Bonk's Revenge, Kadash, Parasol Stars, Zair Zonk, Newtopia 2, New Adventure Island, Soldier Blade, Bomberman 93, Lords of Thunder, and even the PC Engine titles. We got the Kung Fu, Just... Just Seiken Necromancer, Galaga 88, Fantasy Zone, Dragon Spirit, Apare Gateball, Nectarius, Dungeon Explorer, Japanese version, Newtopia, Japanese version, PC Genjin, East 1 and 2, Japanese version, The Genji and the Heike Clans, Super Darius, Super Star Soldier, Daima Kaimura, which is the Japanese version of uh, Ghouls and Ghosts, uh, The Legend of Valkyrie, Aldinus, uh, Seide Senshi Spriggan, uh, Japanese version of Newtopia 2, Gradius, Salamander, Super Momotaro Densetsu 2, Ninja Ryukenin, the Japanese version of Ninja Gaiden, Star Proger, Spriggan Mark 2, um, uh, Snatcher, uh, Gradius 2, Gopher no Yabo, uh, Cho Aniki, Akumajo Dracula X, uh, Rondo of Blood, Bomberman 94, Bomberman Panic Bomber, and, uh, Ginga Fukei Sensu Sapphire. All on one beautiful mini system. From Konami. I am so excited to play this thing. Let's open it up. Just gotta remove the flap. And remove this. Open up the flaps. And let's see what's inside, shall we? <laughs> the next video game generation. You're goddamn right it is. Yeah. Oh, baby, look what we got inside. It's like a little bento box. So you got you got the manual. Can't can't you need the manual otherwise you're going you're going to get stuck. And then this Come on, baby. Yes! The controller! Uh, oh my god. It's beautiful. It has the turbo switches. It has the two and the one button, the select and run button, and a D-pad. It's, it's just like the original. And it's finally mine. Oh, it's I love this thing. Oh, I love it. It's a USB. I, I know it. I know I need to buy a second controller, but honestly, I'll be good with this until I can find some more and maybe even a multi-tap, but just look at this thing. This is beautiful. Th this is beautiful right here. 
we we have we have progressed as a race of people for creating such beauties as this. Now, let's get to the main meat of the hour. The main thing you're all been waiting for. The console itself. Here it is. Look at this puppy. And uh, I don't think you can remove this thing. I don't think... Yeah. Wait, can, can you remove this back piece? I might have to check the manual. But look at this. This is... It's a mini version of the Turbo Graphics. It's it's the, it's still very big uh, compared to all the other mini consoles, but it's still pretty uh, it's still pretty small. It's definitely smaller than a real Turbo Graphics 16. Uh, I remember seeing one only once, but I remember it was much bigger than this. But this is still pretty big for a mini console. The Japanese version of the PC Engine and the European one with the the core graphics are much smaller. And that's one of the things I don't like about the Turbo Graphics is that they decided to make it bigger than the Japanese version when they could have just gone with the original design, but... Eh, whatever. Ain't no change the past, I guess. You got a little switch, you got the orange, it, it even has the little plastic piece that covers up the game uh, slot, the hue card slot, when you start the game. You turn that off. All right. You got the USB. It already comes with two. Unlike the original, only came with one port, and you had to buy a TurboTap just for multiplayer. But they done us the courtesy in adding two from the get go. So even if you don't have a multi-tap, you can still play two-player games. But for the five-player, but for the multiple multiplayer games, like the games that require like more than two people, like Bomberman '93, you're gonna need the multi-tap. But in the meantime, they were courteous enough to give us two instead of just one. So thank you, Konami. Uh, here, let's, let's read the instructions. Maybe it says there's a way you can remove the back piece. Oh, oh, there is a way to remove, oh, there is a way to remove the back piece. Uh, let's see. There's the vents, the front, back cover, inside cover. Uh, so... All right, plug into the thing. Hmm. Okay, I, th I think I just... I, do, I think I just pull it off, I think. Uh, let's see. Let's try removing this back piece. Uh, do, do you just remove it, right? It, there's no special uh, thing, right? Oh, oh! Oh, you gotta remove. Oh, you gotta lift it. There's a little thing. You lift it up, and that's how you pull it out. And then, and then it's just this. This just this little thing. <laughs> it's cute. It's cute little thing. And inside, there's a little uh, USB mini thing. And there's the uh, HDMI port. Beautiful. And uh, got the HDMI cable. This one did not come with the USB mini. But that doesn't matter since I have a bunch of them lying around. I could easily just use the one from my Sega Genesis Mini uh, as a supplement. But yeah, it's got this, and it came with HDMI. It's always good to have a bunch of HDMI's in case like one of them breaks, and or in case you have something that doesn't come with an HDMI, you can always just use a spare. Uh, I'll, I'll just save this in uh, with my other you know, HDMI's in case I need it for something else, and I could just use my Sega Genesis Mini HDMI in the meantime. But yeah. This and this. I'm gonna have some fun today. So, uh, yeah, that's about it for the unboxing. I am very excited to play with this thing. This is honestly one of the greatest things to come from the mini co console um, thing trend that's been happening with all these minis. Like that. The NES Mini and SNES Mini were good, but this, this is honestly one of the best. This might be the best, if it weren't, like, the only thing that can top this, in my opinion, is the Com the C64 Mini, because that has 64 games, and they let you, right out of the gate, um, play your own games with a USB plug-in to the thing, and there's even, they even made a, a larger-sized model, which is 
the full size version that matches the size of the Commodore 60, the original Commodore 64, with its own keyboard and ability not only to play C64 games but also a couple of Commodore VIC 20 games, which is very nice. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I'm gonna have a great time playing this puppy today, and I thank you, the viewer, for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, video, more videos will be out soon, so like, subscribe, comment, you know the drill. Oh yeah, also share with your friends. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just really excited to play this thing. So, until next time, my name is Andrew Ambrose, and I'll catch you later.